What is up guys? It's Ken back in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, so I'm less than three weeks out from my show. And today I'm gonna show you the low carb diet as in 20 to 30 carbs. I know there's a lot of beginners out there looking for low carb diets, low carb meals. So I'm gonna show you guys what I eat. Cause I know that's probably the hardest days for people. Uh, well to me that is. So I'm gonna show you guys what I eat on a low carb diet day and hopefully this will help you guys out, especially the beginners. I'm gonna show you guys all the food in one spot. So we'll get started with breakfast. So for breakfast, this is what I usually have. I usually have an omelet. I have turkey bacon, garlic food. Uh, uh. The macros on it for two slices is one gram of carb and three fats and nine grams of protein egg whites the usual I have 250 grams of egg whites and one egg cheese because that's very high in fats so i chose this cheese because there's no carbs in it and it's high in fats and it's really hard to hit my fats because i'm trying to hit 80 fats on my low carb day. So this has eight grams of fat per 30 grams, which is one third of a cup. And then again, I have spinach. So why spinach? Well, spinach is a very low carb, high volume food, as in a lot of vegetables, especially in spinach. Per 100 grams, you get roughly around 3.5 to 4 grams of carb. That's per 100 grams. Now that's a lot. Usually, I right now I would put in around 20 to 30 grams of spinach, which is not even one gram of carb. <laughs> Yeah. I love cheese. Essentials, essentials. Turkey bacon. Now, but for now, I try to eat a the first meal ground beef spinach. There is really no carbs in ground turkey, and the seasoning I use on it is salt, pepper, and garlic powder. That's it, and some bay leaves. So on a low carb diet. You want to have high fats. So that's why ground turkey is a really good example. 20 grams of spinach and 100 grams of lean ground turkey, salt, pepper, garlic powder seasoning. Um, usually for breakfast or at night, I will have my smoothie. And what it really consists of is spinach. Again, super high volume, super low carb, less than one gram of carb per 20 grams of spinach. And then I have kale, two grams carbs per 20 grams of kale. So again, that's super low carbs, high volume. And then I have an avocado. Now that's what I use mostly for my fats. And then I have silk. Now, if you guys are ever gonna get almond milk, make sure to get the unsweetened because it has pretty good macros. Take in 100 millimeters, less than a gram of carbs. Protein, you guys can use anything. I know there's a lot better protein out there. Three grams of carbs in one scoop. And as for the avocado, I'm only using half. These are essential guys. Mustard, practically no carbs. There's still carbs in there, but it's very, very little. They don't even display it in the nutrition facts. And hot sauce. Now, yeah, there's no carb in that. Sometimes I eat sriracha as well, but these are the two essentials I need because your boy needs flavor. Next meal. So again, we have spinach over here and we have some Hellman's olive oil mayonnaise. Now I chose this because it's, it's, it's kind of high on fats, which is what you need, but it has absolutely zero carbs. If you guys, one tablespoon, it's probably around zero point something because there's obviously eggs in here. An egg, I'm gonna kind of make this into a salad, sort of like a tuna salad. So in an egg, you really have no carbs. There's around 0.4 grams of carb per one large egg and then again you have your spinach and again I'll be using 20 grams which is 0 0.7 grams of carbs so when you add that up that's really 1.1 grams of carbs for this meal and then in tuna I know I'm gonna get a lot of haters and a lot of people are gonna say that's freaking gross 
But to be honest, I don't have much time. Y'all can hate, but the good thing about tuna, freaking focus. There is no carb. One whole can is fifth, around 30 grams and one gram of fat per can. So since I made this video, like I tried to make every single food to show you guys. I wanted to lay it on the table. I had to really cook everything together. And this is really the aftermath. Now my parents will, f will probably kill me if they see this. But this is what happened. Just so I can make all the meals in one shot. Ooh, that avocado. That looks really pleasing. But I'm gonna clean this up before my mom gets home and whoops my ass. So. Hmm. All clean. Okay guys, so that basically concludes the video. So all in all, there's 20, roughly 20 grams of carbs in here. Now for the almonds, I only eat 30 almonds. Uh, 30 grams of almonds, sorry. Um, this is missing spinach. I don't want to put on it because I'll eat that later. Uh, for my fats, I have fish oil, so I take six of those on my low carb days. And then I have my multivitamins. There's a ground beef, here's a smoothie without the protein because I'm going to drink that later. Uh, and yeah, so other than that, I'm gonna eat now because I literally made all this meal. I haven't eaten anything this morning. And make sure you guys subscribe. You know, I have 21 subscribers now. I'm trying to reach up to 30. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I know this video is not meant for a lot of you guys, especially my Facebook viewers. Hopefully it's something you guys are doing, will do in the future, or if you're planning to do it in the future. This is really an example of a low carb, student budget, broke ass life diet. This is not very expensive. Probably the most expensive thing is this almonds, that's it. But other than that, it's pretty dirt cheap. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video, which is going to be a big one. Even though I'm doing a low carb diet meal, um, on a low carb diet meal, you really want to have high fats. Here I have my cheese. Not the best, obviously it's processed, but gets the job done. But we have an avocado here. We have eggs, you know, for the yolk, the ground turkey, and also have almonds, which is very essential because it really fills you up and it's high in fat. Oil, oil, and oil olive oil and my mayo so there's so many health benefits with uh virgin olive oil and the reason being is because number one it's, it's rich in antioxidants so really helps kill cancer cells and helps reduce the risk of heart disease another key essential of uh, virgin olive oil is that it's very high in vitamin K, uh, vitamin E. Protects your body against eye and skin problems, cancer, diabetes. Also vitamin K, which is another fat soluble vitamin. It's really necessary for the process that involves the fixation of the calcium in your body. So with high levels of vitamin Ks, it shows that it really protects your body against insulin resistance and several types of cancer is that it contains monounsaturated fats and these are the fatty acids you need in your daily lives. Monounsaturated fatty acids are found in abundance in nuts, fish and vegetable oils, particularly olive oil, which is composed of 75% of monounsaturated fatty acids. And also this reduces the risk of heart diseases again reduces diabetes and colon cancer and many more. There's so many benefits with extra virgin olive oil. This is why that's where most of my fats come from.